key features required to make a Nerf Blaster truly great. It's rate of fire, it's velocity, it's accuracy, maybe even it's capacity. There are features required to make a blaster truly competitive. And well, this is the coat hanger from Spitfire Products. And really, I only have to show you one thing that makes this blaster truly special. That's a 200 FPS Prime right there, by the way. But don't worry, there's a whole lot more here that makes it really freaking good. Wow, it's so... Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh. Morty, come on, we're leaving for school. Oh. Oh, everything's crooked. Reality is poison. Yes, this is designed and built by Spitfire Products of the uh, Nerf War Crime Ranger Series Mega Sniper Rifle fame. The coat hanger here goes in a completely other direction because this is more meant to be a competitive blaster. And the entire idea of the coat hanger, at least of the design and the main mechanism, were dreamt up by Hotcoin, an artist in the community that draws some blasters that could theoretically exist but as far as I know, this is one of the few times where one of those designs has actually been made into a physical product. And that's what Spitfire set out to do. And they absolutely freaking nailed it. It's called the coat hanger because the plunger rod design is meant to be a wire hook catch system that works really freaking well in actual reality. And I'm blown away and I hope we see more of this kind of stuff because there's, there's some magic happening here. Well, let's start off at the front. Like and subscribe for Nerf and Strike Barrel Lug Attachment Point. Yep, you can put any of your standard Nerf accessories on there, but right now it has this shroud which covers up the barrel and the scar muzzle if you chose to include one for better accuracy. You've got the priming grip right here, which uh, it looks like a plug. You can't really get away from that. However, underneath of this is a standard Picatinny rail so you can use whatever grip you want. Up here we've got sights. They're fiber optic kind of pips and it's the best sights I've ever used on Nerf Blaster, at least a physical iron sight kind of thing. A single Picatinny rail for whatever optic you chose. Mag release, you do not have to prime this blaster to remove the magazine because this uses a Vanguard style pusher breech that is actually manufactured by Roboman Industries. Back here, you've got your anodized plunger tube. This is an expanded plunger tube upgrade. The original is just a standard aluminum plunger tube that is a little bit smaller than this. However, this is a Cheetah 2.0 plunger tube. The barrel and the plunger tube are from an actual blaster that already exists. Spitfire is just reusing that hardware in a different shell, which is a brilliant idea and it works really good in this case. And it is very nice. Right here, you've got the catch system and behind that, you've got a Picatinny rail that has this stock mounted to it. The stock has a buffer tube so you can put whatever buffer tube style stock that you want on it, which, which is a super nice touch, but you can also just remove the buffer tube part and you have a standard and strike stock attachment point. Neat. And all this comes together in a package that is incredibly compact. Ignore the muzzle, ignore the stock. If I were to show you what I think is one of the most compact pump action springers I've ever gotten my hands on, the ever lovable Super Spamf, yeah. So what makes this competitive? Well, for one, you can swap out the barrels without any tools whatsoever. You simply unscrew the end strike barrel attachment point and you could pull out the entire barrel. Brilliant design. I think this thing has the nicest trigger of any blaster I've ever used. It locks up perfectly. You can hear it every single time, that satisfying click. And yet look how little you have to squeeze the trigger. There is no wiggle here, just a little squeeze. And you can hear that click. That is incredible. And not only does that help with accuracy, it just helps with overall feel. All right, chronograph time. These measurements are in feet per second. 70 is about the average for stock nerf. I'm gonna be starting off with seven shots of Adventure Force Pro Darts. These are great darts, but they're a bit heavier than the seven dart zone bamboo darts that I have following up after that. With a heavier spring with Adventure Force Pro Darts, you can hit around 200 FPS. However, this is still the incredibly light spring, so it's gonna be a bit lower. 152, 150, 172, 127, 158, 163, and 145. These are kind of worn darts at this point, but watch what it does when I swap to bamboo darts. 209, 204, 211, 206, 205, 237, 193. Those darts work perfectly fine out of this blaster 
and works so much better with that worker barrel, it isn't funny. So if you really want to take this thing to the next level, make sure you get yourself some of those bamboo darts. All right, we're gonna put the coat hanger on the range here. I'm gonna use the iron sights against my best judgment and we're gonna start with AF Pro darts. Well, let's see what kind of group we can get. I'm a little worried this won't be as consistent as some people would like, but this is a good test. It would help if the darts weren't being horrible. That, that was that was pretty consistent, all things considered. And again, I want to point out, these are 3D printed iron sights that I am trying to be objectively consistent with. And that is pretty good. Let's switch it over to an actual target test and see what we can get done. That is insane for, again, Nerf Iron Sights. The coat hanger is a flippin' monster. And if you need to do any actual work on the field, you need to upgrade the spring, you need to lube the internals or anything like that, it is one screw, and I'm still demanding that Spitfire products make that zero screws, and they can do it. Let them know down in the comment section that's a thing you want. Remove this one screw right here with an Allen key, pull up on this piece, and you can pull the entire blaster apart, take out the plunger system, do whatever you would like. Snap this back down, and it's ready to go. So it's compact, it's powerful enough, it's got a super smooth prime and a beautiful trigger. All these things come together to build a pump action springer. However, these are features that competitive players want. Yes, you could go get a Nexus Pro and it will do basically everything this does, but this is going to be nicer to use in every possible way. And this is extremely customizable because this is 3D printed. It's hard to tell on camera, but this thing looks fantastic in the light and yet it's a 3D printed blaster made out of PETG. You can have it printed out in whatever colors you'd like. Are these features gonna be worth it to everybody? Probably not. But if you've ever felt like your blaster should feel better in your hands, that's when you need to upgrade to something like the coat hanger. If you wanna have the slickest, nicest feeling blaster in about that 130 to 220 FPS range, the coat hanger is gonna get you there. But Spitfire Products deserves all the praise in the world for taking a literal picture with a vague idea of how something should work and going above and beyond by making it as nice as possible. And do not pass up a chance to try one of these things.